This is Hayes Q. Jones. Your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. This is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, channel welcome. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. So anything you can do, I'd greatly appreciate it. To my current subscribers, welcome back. Happy to see you. Uh, as you can see right now, I am riding my bike around the neighborhood. Been doing this for about three weeks, trying to stay in shape. You know, I'm a senior citizen in training, so got to stay on top of my game. This week's video takes place in St. Pete. Actually, I took this a couple weeks ago when I was at the Banana Music uh, location, that great uh, warehouse, all that wax, and uh, great physical media. <clears throat> Last week, last week, of course, we had the Dollar Tree drop, so I had to do that video. So this is going to be what I looked at after Banana Music, uh, Pawn Shops, Dollar Tree, whatever I saw in, uh, over in St. Pete, Big Lots. Um, on another note, what I've been watching as far as streaming stuff, just got finished watching CW's Black Lightning on Netflix Season 4. Outstanding show. Uh, very sad to see it go. I think it could last a lot more than four seasons, but I'm grateful for the four seasons. Uh, I love the guy, uh, Cron Don, uh, that's his rapper name. Uh, Marvin something is his real name. Uh, the guy who plays Tobias, one of my favorite, new favorite villains in the DC Universe. Um, looking forward to getting that on Blu-ray. So far, I've only seen these seasons come out individually. I haven't seen season four come out on Blu-ray, so I don't know when that's going to happen, but uh, hopefully I will be picking up all four seasons, either together or separately. Uh, another show that I just started watching last night on Netflix is Alice in the Borderland, or Alice in Borderland. This is a Chinese um, sci-fi thriller type of, of film. Don't want to give too much away. I'm only, I think, the second episode in, though. But looks really intriguing. Looking forward to find, watching the, the rest of this. Uh, Sunday, spent all day watching movies. I think I watched four or five movies. Uh, one dollar free movie that kind of sticks out. All about the money with Eddie Griffin. And believe it or not, cast for Van Dien in a comedy role. So, very funny show. Was definitely worth more than a dollar. Happy I paid only a dollar for that. So, without further ado, if you're familiar with the channel, you know the routine. Sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke. And I'll catch you on the other end of this video. Now let me finish my two laps so I can get in. Location. I see a Dollar Tree. I gotta take a peek to see if they have any movies. So let me see what they have in here real quick. Yeah, leaving Dollar Tree. Nothing there. Not one single solitary movie there. That's all right though. Make a couple more stops and head home. All right, I'm about to hit a, a pawn shop here. That's right next to. This is Arcade, but I don't know, that's some shady shit. I don't know what that is. Action Arcade. I just saw some chick, questionable chick walk up in there, so. Real nice right now. Uh, Pawn Depot. Let's see what they have here. Yeah, just uh, looked around. They just have guns and other kind of stuff. No movies. And that arcade place, yeah, that's a real, that's a real thing. It looks like a little mini illegal casino or some shit like that. So, who knows? Let's try the next spot. Yeah, I'm at Value Pond and Jewelry in St. Pete. Uh, what street is this? 34th Street. So, 
I usually have pretty good luck at Value Pawn and Jewelry. Let's see what they have. That was kind of a bust. There's nothing in there. You can have like 10 DVDs and four Blu-rays. So we will press on. What's the boy doing in here? You know see? Big lots. Let's check out their video section real quick, man. See if they have anything worthwhile looking at.
not stop. Just like what's next, next door to the Snooty Fox Motel. This is... It's another value pawn and joy, I believe. There's a better shot of the Snooty Fox Motel. I uh, actually picked up uh, three Blu-rays here, so very productive day out in St. Pete. I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna make this a two-part video. The first part being Banana Records and the second part being everything, everything else in St. Pete. But let me get the hell out of here before I get attacked, lynched, or get verbally abused by some Trump supporter. I'll see you back at the Black Cave. Okay, we are back. <clears throat> we are back at the Black Cave, and this is part two, part du, du, of my St. Petersburg trip with my son. Um, I'm going to go from smallest to biggest. Uh, big Lots here. Spent uh, $5.34 over at Big Lots. Got one movie that I needed to complete a, a, a collection. And what is this? Value Pawn of St. Pete. Uh, spent like $5.35. Got three Blu-rays. And Cash America, where I got the most, I spent like $13.91. So let me get these scanned in, get them off the wrappers, and go over these and get you guys on your way. Hold on. We're going to kick this off with Yarhead 2, Field of Fire, unrated. This is a universal release, and this completes all four Jarhead movies, unless there's a fifth Jarhead movie that I don't know about, and I haven't seen any of these yet, so one day we have to sit down and have a Jarhead marathon. Jarhead. Jarhead 2. Next, uh, that's all I got from Big Lots. <clears throat> Next, we're going to go into Value Pawn. Start out with the Watson go to Birmingham. And very interested, David Allen Greer, he's actually a comedian, but he's also a trained thespian. So, but I, I can't recall ever seeing him in any dramas. I've only seen him in comedies. The latest thing was Jamie Foxx's Dad Don't Embarrass Me on Netflix, which very funny, very funny show. Um, Wood, uh, Wood Harris, Wood Harris, and don't really recognize the kiss yet based on the award-winning book. And this is a Walden Media release. I believe never heard of that. But the Blu-ray and the DVD. The Watsons go to Birmingham. Next, I have 13 going on 30. I believe I might have the DVD of this, but didn't have the Blu-ray. Uh, Jennifer Garner. 
Mark uh, Ruffalo, Ruffalo uh, aka The Hulk, I believe, comedy for the kid and all of us. And this is the old Freaky Friday movie just kind of redone for, I don't know how many times they've done the Freaky Friday scenario. About 13 going on 30. And this is a Sony release. Never seen this either. And again, another kind of Freaky Friday movie. Zach, Zach Efron, 17 again, who says you're only want young once. Now, certain things that you'd like to do without doing again. And have the digital copy, DVD, and the Blu-ray, 17 again. Have not seen this either. And this is what I picked up from, again, Value Pond for like five bucks and some change. And lastly, this is probably my biggest pickup. And I started with this. I, I saw this as a, I've seen this as a kid, or I saw it as a kid. Casey Saddle with Walter Matthau. I don't remember what it's about, but I just remember Walter Matthau and the title of the movie. And it's a family movie. And also, Walter Matthau fan from the Bad News Bears to um, um, the Odd Couple. So, and this is a Columbia Picture release. Casey's Shadow. <clears throat> Heartbreaker. I know I had this on VHS. And I think I have a DVD that was transformed or transfer it to a VHS copy. I don't believe I have a DVD. I didn't have it in my CLZ app. So happy to have this. <clears throat> Heartbreakers with Jennifer Love Hewitt, Gene Hackman, and Sigourney Reaver. And so Sigourney was looking kind of hot back then. The Heartbreakers. And Jennifer Love Hewitt always looks hot. She still looks hot. She still looks hot now. At least last time I saw her. This, I thought I had a copy of this. I might have a bootleg copy. I'll be able to tell when I put all this stuff away. Diary of a Tired Black Man. Now it's a black man's turn to exhale. It's a Magnolia release. I saw this. Don't live, remember a lot about it. Interesting movie. Diary of a Tired Black Man. Next. Uh, I know I had the uh, VHS copy of this. So kind of upgrading to a DVD. Ice T, Silk the Shocker. Silk the Shocker is one of uh, the rap artists from Master P's group back in the day. Just in case you didn't know, Corrupt. This is a studio release, Studio S release, or Filmworks. That's right, the wide screen, and probably the flip side is the pretty short <clears throat> full screen. Not sure. Get out. Yeah. Why screen and full screen? Ice tea, soak the shocker, corrupt. Next, never even heard of this, a fool and his money, but I like Sandra Bullock. It's a, a young Sandra Bullock. Trinity. Trinity Pitcher. A Fool and His Money, Sandra Bullock. Next, I uh, actually have a bootleg copy of this. Uh, I remember somehow visiting a red box, and after that, a bootleg copy ending up in my collection somehow. Don't know how that thing happened. But this is a Paramount release, fun size. I might have seen this, I can't remember, and I've been, been more than a minute if I have fun size, like a Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon movie. Next. Thought I had this one off, so I've just been putting the stickers on this because I'm going to get rid of the case. Uh, Matt Dillon, Richard Crenna, Hector Elizondo, and Jessica Walter, The Flamingo Kid. Thought I had this also. Again, I will see it. It didn't show up in my COZ app. So when I put it away, I guess I will be able to tell. This is 
was, I believe, old 80s when the Flamingo Kid and uh, Matt Dillon kind of on top. Next, we have Atlas Shrugged Part 3. I have one on DVD, I believe two on Blu-ray. Now I have three, and I believe there's only three. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what these movies are about, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you. It looked interesting. I think at one time I, I looked at one of them and it was intrigued, but it was so long. Now I'm just trying to get the whole trilogy and watch them all together. Atlas Shrugged. And if you've seen this, leave a comment. Let me know if it's something I should hurry up and watch or if you like, eh, wait. Next, we have Catch and Release, another Jennifer Garner movie. Never seen this before. I might have it on DVD. I didn't show up in my CLZ movies app. I'm saying that a lot lately. <clears throat> I guess because I'm thinking things are in my collection, but it's not showing up. So I will see when I put this away. Catch and release. This is a Sony release. Nice artwork on the back. This is a romantic comedy. Catch and release. Never seen this. I remember I just got the DVD of this a little while ago, so upgrade to the Blu-ray rather uh, quicker than I expected. Dustin Hoffman, Emma Thompson. This is a out of print Anchor Bay release. One of my Anchor Bays. Last Chance Harvey. And lastly, I love these Disney animal movies i think i have well i know i have the chimpanzee one i have the bear one and uh, a few other ones can't remember offhand but now i have the crimson wing flamingo disney signature blu-ray and i'm sure that the colors are just off the chart vivid but this is part two of my saint pete pickup with the boy you know what time this is let me put these away, separate these from the plastic, put the artwork in the uh, folders, and let you guys go about your day or your evening. Hold on. Okay, I have everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to travel to, paint, travel to St. Pete with me and hit some pawn shops and pick up some really cool stuff. Uh, if you have subscribed, if you have subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? It doesn't hurt. Okay, we are back at that time again. I have everything laid out, ready to go back in its proper place. As usual, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to travel to St. Pete and back and pick up some pretty cool DVDs and Blu-rays. If you have subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Help me out. I'm dying over here. Help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Like, share, subscribe. Give me the big thumbs up. Other than that, be the best of your past. Be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Peace.